Deputy President, uh, what I'm calling on senators in this place today to do is, in the context of this debate, which has been brought on very quickly last Thursday for a vote by 2 p.m. today, without a committee stage, enabling people to go through this bill and explore what the potential uh, unintended consequences are, is to recognise that the things that our forebears have fought for in terms of freedom of association, of speech, of thought, of religion, should still be afforded to our schools. They have indicated, they have indicated very clearly and consistently, because they work in this balance of grace and truth, they have not used the exemptions to expel people purely on the basis of their sexual identity but they require the ability to still operate in truth and to faithfully put forward what the teaching of that particular group is. And that is something that if we are to remain an open, plural democracy where the rights of minorities who don't enjoy the support of a parliamentary majority are to endure, then senators in this place need to support the government amendments that have been put forward to this bill today. Thank you.